Guys, never pay full price for games again. G2A has got your back. You can get games for half the price that you get on Steam. If you guys are interested, of course, click the link in the description box below. You guys will not be disappointed. Alright, what is going on guys? So today I'm gonna show you how to root any Dell Venu 7 or 8. This is super easy and it works as of 2017. Now this will be kind of a full root, which means you can download Game Killer, you can download Lucky Patcher and everything will work fine. But you cannot flash a recovery image such as Clockwork Mod or Team Win Recovery Project because none of them support the Dell Venu 7 or 8 yet. But anyways, without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. Now for this example, I'm using the Dell Venu 7 3730 and you will also be needing an external SD card which I already have in. Now you will also need a file called Dell Venu root and it will also be in the description and it's going to be a zip file so you just ex extract it to your desktop. So once you do extract it, you open it up and this is what you're going to see. You're going to see CWM tethered and then a rooting program file, drivers, and then super SU file. What you want to do right now is open your Dell Venu, go to your settings, scroll all the way down, go to about tablet, and go to the last option, the very last option, and then to above it, it will be build number. So what you want to do is keep clicking it a lot, a lot, a lot. And then at the bottom it says you, you are now a developer. So once that happens, you will unlock a new setting right here above the about tablet and it's called developer options. So you want to scroll down to USB debugging, click it and then click OK. And then that's all you have to do. So now what you want to do is connect your Dell Venu to your PC. Now once you do it, go to my computer or this PC if you're on Windows 10 and then go to Venu 7 3730 so once you open up your SD card also open up your Dell Venu root file which you have just downloaded before and what you want to do is the super SU file drag it to your SD card now you can exit out of your SD card and then we can actually get to rooting so yeah once you put the super SU file into your SD external SD card you're basically good now you want to install drivers now, I know most of you will have drivers for the Dell Venu 3730. Even if you do, you still have to install this one because this driver is compatible with the root program we're going to use to root the Dell Venu. So, what you want to do is just install it and I'll guide you through it. So, install it, click yes, click next, I accept, next, next, next. If it says process adb.exe is running on your PC, right click your taskbar go to task manager click a on your keyboard so keep clicking a until uh you highlight adb.exe and then click end task and then uh, now you can exit out of task manager and now you can click ok so if this pops up just unlock your device put always allow from this computer and then click ok and then wait like three seconds and then click continue um, okay, it popped up again. That was weird. Click OK. And then continue. Now, when this pops up, uncheck this. And then click Finish. Basically, what you want to do now is disconnect your Dell Venu. And then reconnect it. And then you'll be good. So now, let's actually start rooting your Dell Venu. So the first thing you want to do is go to a f the file called rooting program and then which says run dash me dot bat right click it click run as administrator and then click yes now right here you want to type accept in capital letters all letters have to be capital it's important and then click enter and then what you want to do is click number two and then enter and then click always allow from this computer and okay and now just wait and then click enter and now it should turn green. So now what you want to do is type in A1. And then you want to type in 1. Enter. And then just click enter again. And then you want to do R2. So we want to root with super SU installation. Then you click enter. 
So once you press enter, you want to type in accept again in capital letters and then click enter. And your device should restart and it will say waiting for device. So just wait for it. Now here it will say device attached. That's why uh, the drivers that we installed, that's why it's compatible and it works with this program. Now I know it will say failed, status read, failed too many links. Just ignore that. Everything is okay. Just keep waiting. Now it will say complete and press any key to continue. So now leave your device like this. Leave it. Do not open Super SQ because it might cause some errors. So right now we can exit out of this, go back, and now we want to go to CWM Tethered, which is Clockwork Mod Tethered. Now I said before in the beginning of the video, Clockwork Mod will not work on this, but this is only the tethered version. So basically, each time you want to use Clockwork Mod, you have to connect your um, tablet to the PC. After you root it and you download any app that requires Clockwork Mod, it will not work. So yeah, with that aside, once you open CWM Tethered, you want to go to right click launcher.bat and then click run as administrator and then click yes and then for this again we want to type in accept in capital letters and then just wait for it so now what you want to do is put T3 and then click enter so now just so you guys can see I know the camera quality sucks but just listen closely basically you want to um, use your volume down button to go down your volume up button to go up and then the power button to select so press the volume button down once to go to install zip and then click the power button and then go down to choose zip from external SD card and then click the power button and then you want to uh, go down to the super su dash v279 something numbers and then dot zip this is the file that we dragged to the sd card in the beginning of the video once you go down to it click the power button and, uh, you will see a bunch of no's and then go down until it says yes install super su and then a bunch of letters i mean numbers and then dot zip click the power button and then just wait and believe it or not, you are done. Now, go down all the way down where it says go back. And then click reboot system now, which is the first option. Just click the power button. And this will pop up. Again, there will be a bunch of no's. And then go down to about uh, the middle. And then it will say yes, fix root, and then slash system xbin slash su. So click the power button again. And then that's it your tablet should restart and once you see the logo you can unplug the device so yeah after it reboots go to your apps and you should see super su right there and just to prove that it works i'm gonna go to the play store go to root check i'm gonna just use this one install and accept All right, and i installed this one so i just click open and just to show you that it works, this will pop up. Now you can just press grant. And see, there you go. This Venu 7 is rooted and it's running Android 4.4.2. If this helped you, leave a comment below. Anyways guys, that has been it. That has been the video. And if you want really cheap games for half the price that they are on Steam, go to the link below. You will not be disappointed. Leave a comment below and subscribe. Peace.